Hello, it's Tarquin Bettersley Clinton here today, and today I'm going to be discussing a bit of an IT thing here. You may have been wondering how I get the uh, rubber stamp thing on my videos. Uh, such words like it's ass and smug, they appear as stamps on my videos. You may be wondering how I do that. Well, I'm using a program called GIMP, uh, because it's free, I like free stuff. And today, uh, I'm going to be using GIMP version, uh, where's my version number about GIMP? Here we are, 2.8.14. Okay, so uh, let's get on with it then, and let's create ourselves a new, uh, a new, a new image. And this is about the correct size for a uh, spreader stamp, and it's about, you don't need it huge or anything like that, so that'll do, okay. And now let's uh, choose a, a nice insulting word. Um, so we choose our little text editor there, that's text, and we want to have that in red. Nice striking red there. And we want to choose a different font. Now, um, just okay that one over there. We might want a different font here. So let's let's look at the fonts we got. I I'd like to use a stencil font, so uh Let's have a look if I can find my stencil font. Yeah, uh, where are we? Here we are. Start our stencil bar. Now it doesn't come as default, standard fault with GIMP. But you, there's some clever chappy uh, on YouTube who can help you with that. Maybe I'll put a link at the end of the program. There we go. And we want that there. We want to justify that in the center of the uh, box. Ah, uh, it's about right, I think. Let's, uh, okay, let's sort of set about adding that text about. Yeah, and a nice insulting word like pillock. I haven't got a very big sized pillock there, I? I can't even spell. Right, here we go, pillock. There we go, now that's a bit small, isn't it? So we can just make that much larger than that. We can, what's well, a bit too big, maybe. Let's go back to about 100, that'll do. We can go back to 100 bar. And there we have it. That's the simple texty part. And so the next thing we need to create is our border. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new border layer, a new layer here. So these are down to here to our layers. This is going to be create a new layer. And we've got a box somewhere here. Here's our box over here somewhere. Let's have a look at that. And that's going to be the same size as our image as it is. And we want a transparency there, which is all lovely in default so we okay there and let's zoom back from there and now we want to select our border tool which is this cheeky little number here and then we can just go over here and we can draw a nice border around our lovely word pillock there it's a nice border maybe it's a bit much there let's just zoom back out of that we can just Sort of just grab the corners and drag that, drag the thing on from the corners there, just so it's not too big. I think I've cocked that up again. Yes, I've cocked that up again. Here we go. Let's just, let's have a go at that again. We just keep messing that up. There we go. The word pillock there. Just drag that corner up a bit there. And we'll just drag that corner up a bit there and just drag this. Oops. Drag that corner down a bit there and just sort of get it nice and central. There we have it. Now we've done that. Now we want to uh, draw like another nice thick border, don't we? So let's uh, zoom back out of there. Now to get a nice border here, we need to go uh, to our select up here. We go select and then we drop down here to border. And let's just wait over to hear it. And there we have a, a five point border. That's about big enough. We check that out there. That's wonderful. Now we want to fill that border in, don't we? So we, now we need to go to our filter, which is this bucket here. And we have the red here, which is the same color as our text, which is what we want because we're obviously dipping the stamp in the same ink, aren't we? So now we're going to drop this uh, color down on top like that. And that makes it lovely and red, doesn't it? Superb. So that's. Oh, we, oh, the only one thing we have to do now is to pop up here, go over to go to the layer we just created, and we can merge that down into one layer. Now, the next thing we need to do is make that look a little bit shitty, because this is a bit too perfect for our uh, 
stem. We don't never has a rubber stem looking that good. So what we're going to do here is make it look a bit, you know, look a bit more sort of rubbish. And, uh, you know, we keep the fading and some lines and whatever in there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select this tool here. And we're going to choose a different brush here. And I'm going to go for the confetti brush. And we can choose a different size for the brush. We'll just make that a bit smaller. Take that back to about 13. Wonderful. And what we're going to have to do here is we have to select this layer here. And we're going to have to create an add layer mask here. So we can do that uh, here. Wonderful. Let me just zoom in on that. Because I might be a bit small. So we want white, full opacity, and marvellous. And we can add that one there. Okay, so let's zoom back out here. Well, actually, we've got to, what we must remember to do here is unselect all. So we want to select anything here. So then we take, oh, we've got our brush. We've got our, we're just going to just rub that over the, uh, the border there. It's a little bit shitty, doesn't it? There we go. A bit shitty there. there. Yeah. A bit faded along there. That's wonderful. And we'll add the same to the uh, the word pinup as well. Let's make that change of brush size. Some jazz is all your own. So I'm not really an artist myself. I'm just sort of swiddling my mouse around here. Well, that's squiggle, squiggle. Yeah, that's quite good. And so what we can also do is add some lines. Imagine you've got a hair stuck or a hair or something stuck in your stuck in your ink pot or whatever, and you can choose a different. Uh, pen here so we got a nice size to choose that maybe much smaller pen size than that maybe it's probably about a two perhaps so I stick that through there and we'll have another one through there that's someone with a big fat hair then we can make a, that a little smaller again our size one and just put some lines through it like so and just make it look a bit naff and rubbish eh, not a not a sort of science is it there we go and that's that's how to make it look a little shitty so the uh, only thing we need to do here now is to go over to uh, this over here uh, and then we need to go right click and merge dime there we have it that's nice and nice and crappy there isn't it now the next thing we need to do is uh, to rotate it a little bit. You know, it's always much better to have a slight angle on the uh, stamp itself because you can never get that stamp stamp down a perfectly aligned step. So it's going to be a little bit wonky. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to uh, go to our rotate tool here, which is uh, this one here, and we're going to go over to here and just slightly rotate that. So we just so we just drag a little bit up there. You know, nothing too major there. There we go, and that's that's that rotated. Now you'll notice that the uh, that we're keeping this section here within our size here. Otherwise, we'll start losing the corner. We don't want that in that dirty. So that's fine. And we got that in this. That's just slightly off center, and looking pretty cool, I think. And so now we've done the rotation. That's fine. And then the final thing we need to do is to make the background transparent. Now we need to do this so that our video shows through underneath. And so we're going to do this by using uh, this tool up in the layer section up here. So let's go to layer, select that one. I think it's transparency, and then color to alpha. And that's going to bring us another little pop-up box. Like, yeah. Now. The color we want to go to alpha is white. Look at that. That's already selected for us, white. So anything with this hatched area here now will, uh, this hatched area here will now go uh, transparent when I click this OK button. Yeah, there we have it. Let's, let's look at that. That's entirely transparent. And that's all we need to do. So the final thing we need to do, obviously, is to uh, go up here. And we need to... Uh, save our project so we just do uh, save as uh, we go into our gimp projects now we just call that just call that pillock there we go pillock is a great name for a pillock stamp and just hit return there let's save that and now we need to export it now here's a tip here we need to export as let's just go that we need to ex export that as a PNG file, not a JPEG. Now, a JPEG will not hold the transparency layer, but the portable network graphic will. And this will let our video shine underneath through the stamp, which is what the kind of effect we're after here. 
So, there we go, we just do save that, go down here, click the export button there, and there's some uh, default values there, which we'll keep those, and export. And that's done. And I hope that, uh, I hope that concludes our little thing, maybe I could open up the uh, visual uh, studio more, just to show you what we've got here, we can, we can get that stamp in. Here we have it. Let's put a video in there. Let's just drag that one down. There's some car or something. Yes, we'll do that. And then we'll grab my stamp, which is that's here. We'll just grab that there. Like so. Pop that there. And we just go to the beginning of the project there and Okay, and that's how to do that. Wonderful. So that concludes my video. I hope that has been of some help for you. Uh, goodbye for now, until my next video where I'll insult somebody again. Okay, bye.